guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my Panda palette for 2020 and this is a collaboration with the Pantastic Ladies and we are doing Panning Solitaire this year and it is created by Erin and overall Amber F for the Panda palette project. I will have both of those ladies linked down below as well as the other ladies that that has joined in this year in the Fantastic Ladies. So we were supposed to pick a single duo, trio and so on. So it kind of matched the solitaire theme. And you are going to finish them in order. So the single first, duo then trio. And the trio or duo is not done before the single and so on. The last two updates I have made some changes to my eyeshadows just to use them. And not get bored because I was really bored in the second month. So I did some Franken shadows and I did that last month as well. Let me just show you guys how my palette was looking like or my eyeshadows was looking like last month compared to now. This is how my palette is looking like right now. And I'm holding it like this because I have some other pants in this palette that I have in other projects. Right now the small C palette is like filled with blushes that I'm not panning. Um, so I just thought it was easier to have my shadows in where I had the other things that I'm panning that is not in a single compact. So that is why I have it in this. And then we can talk about it and I will insert pictures instead because this is kind of annoying. As you can see I have some progress. I have hit three pans and then I have expanded at least one or two of them. My single is this Benefit cream white kind of shadow that I am using on my brow bone only. I have considered repressing this together with something else for my my concealer to set it, you know, because I have tried it on my eyelid to set my primer. I did not like that at all. My eyeshadow disappeared. So this is going really slowly, but I will for sure have it done this year and I'm excited about that. I do use it every single day and I am focusing my brush up in this corner. Corner, it's a circle. Um, right here. So let's just see how I do. There's still a lot of product left, but it is getting kind of hard to use. Then my duo are the two remaining benefit eyeshadows that I had from a holiday kit as well as the single I just showed you. And those two haven't been used in the last month or two because I have frankened some of the shadow or the progress you see on it um, in other shadows. And last month I frankened the purple and the pink. And for this update, as you may saw, I have pan on both of them, which is really exciting. And I have been mostly focusing on the purple on my lower lash line. I have both of them on my eyes today. I have this on my lower lash line to set a purple eyeliner. This all over my eyelid, so it's quite shiny because I have this shadow that I am working on in my sing uh, single ladies and my matte in my crease. Um, and it's not entirely matte, so it's kind of a shimmery look, but I don't really mind. I don't, I don't care. I like it. I have been using those all over the lid and um, on my lower lash line a lot. I mostly used it on my lower lash line because I am working on other shadows as well. And yeah, I didn't feel like an all pink look all the time. But I'm really, really excited to have hit pan on these. Let's see how I do for next month. I'm actually quite excited to see how fast it will go now. They are not tightly pressed into the pan. They're kind of loosely, but I do use the kick up that it gets when I dip my brush into it. So I'm not really concerned about them. They will take a little while because there is quite a bit of product in them. But I'm also really excited to have them in my product. The last shadows that I'm going to show you are my trio, which is... Three Catrice singles and the one with the most progress is the middle one because I have pan on it right now and I am using that in my eyebrows every single day and I really 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 like it for that. I am going to take a break from it in my eyebrows at least. I am going to use it um, in my crease and in my outer corner as I usually do but the progress will be minimal from now on <laughs> because I am 
using up a brow pencil in my drop tin before summer and that ends in uh, one and a half month maybe and I really want to finish that before the finale in June but yes I'm really excited to have hit pan on it and the other one is this one you might you can maybe see some progresses last time it is beginning to crumble a little bit let me see if I can show you you can kind of see that it is lifting from the pan and that crumbles every time I use it. So that also makes it go a little faster. I try to use it in my eyebrows but I don't really like it for that because it is a little bit too light. But yes, I use it in my crease every single day. This dark one, I use it sometimes in my outer corner. I do think I want to try to use it in my eyebrows and see if I can hit pan on it in that way. But as I just said, I really want to finish that brow pencil, so that is going to be my focus from um, the next month at least. So let's see if I can finish that brow pencil. That it will be a challenge, it will, but yeah. I'm just, I'm really happy if I just hit pen on the last shadow in my trio, um, for now at least. I'm not going to call it done because it's obviously not done, but I do not know if I can have it done by the end of the year. I am really, really happy to be working on these shadows because they are all in my collection and they are the oldest eyeshadows in my single shadow collection, my stash, you know. Um, so I'm really happy to be working on them and by the end of the year they will be decluttered because they are just a little bit too old. They are from Christmas 2015 or and in the beginning of 2016 so they are quite old but they're really really nice and I really like them and I'm excited to get some use out of them That is everything for this update. Not that much else to talk about And um, when these two frame shadows are done I am going to do some other colors because then I think I might have enough for purple and pink So let me know if you have some ideas for the colors I can franken with this Toby shade and this rose gold champagne -y shade um, I got a suggestion for uh, something with my green shadows that I'm planning from my blush tribe Paulina palette so like a lime green or a shimmery dark green or something like that yeah I think that would be exciting but it will not be right now <laughs> at least I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like and subscribe down below if you're new here Felix is here if you saw his tail yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and check out the other ladies before you go and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!